टुडे आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन लीगल ट्रेनिंग सेंटर एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज ऑन द दिवान ऑफ वेरियस लॉयर्स व्हाट इज कॉग्रीडेबल ऑफेंस एंड व्हाट इज नॉन कॉग्रीडेबल ऑफेंस वी हैव टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लुक इनटू क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर कोड अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ नॉन कॉग्रीडेबल ऑफेंसेस व्हिच इज प्रोवाइडेड इन सेक्शन इन डेफिनेशन सेक्शन 4 एंड non cognizable offences those offences in which police police can not arrest without warrant and cognizable offences are defined in section 4f in which police can arrest without warrant now question is what is the basic difference between the non cognizable cases and cognizable cases first of all non in non cognizable cases there is the requirement of a complainant there must be a complainant he should make a complaint about the commission of offence to the station house officer sho under police rule 24 chapter subsection 3 first of all he will enter into daily diary the complaint of the complainant and thereafter he will forward the same through complainant to the ilaka magistrate to the judicial magistrate and these whole proceedings will be under 155 1 of criminal procedure code and 24.3 of police uh, rules uh, police rules thereafter the magistrate will allow under section 1552 that permission is a necessary requirement otherwise that will be violation of the law under section 552 he will permit to carry on the investigation and after this police officer will go under section 156 to investigate the case which is prerogative even in the cognizable cases where only police officer after registration of case under section 154 which is the mandatory duty of the sho to record the statement of any complainant any aggrieved person against commission of cognizable offence and that is mandatory but in non cognizable offence that is not mandatory he cannot register an fir and only he can register fir in cognizable cases further from where we can search the offences are cognizable and they are non cognizable that is very clear in schedule which has been provided under under crpc in third schedule there is the total schedule of the offences in which police officer cannot arrest without a warrant and in schedule 4 that is about the arrest without warrant now question arises when commission of cognizable offences made out then police officer and investigation officer sho he is fully authorized competent and he don't need no warrant from any concern to arrest the accused to arrest the culprit to arrest the offender any kind of offender but in the non cognizable offenses he has no authority what is the law about it if in non cognizable offenses police arrest without warrant without permission of the magistrate then the case will be totally against the law against the power of the police officer and in this regard various authorities are uh, from the higher courts for, for for example clearly 2005 lahore 637 clearly to pcr in 2004 uh, page 387 that any police officer who has arrested any person without warrant in the non cognizable offenses they were quashed either they were accused were acquitted under section 249 a by the magistrate further if there are both uh, offenses one is non cognizable and one in cognizable one is cognizable then what will be the procedure then there is no need of any arrest warrant any permission to investigate for the uh, to the investigation officer further after completion of investigation there is also requirement under section 1553 to get the warrant from the magistrate otherwise he cannot arrest the warrant there are a lot of authorities which we can and you can 
visualize and you can uh, read uh, 2070 PCRL Karachi uh, 1, 2 and 2018 MLD page 196 and 2017 YLR 419. So these are all with regard to the non cognitive and cognitive offenses. Further, non cognitive offenses are not much serious offenses. They are to some extent trivial kind of expense, uh, offenses, but cognitive offenses are severe offenses in which, like murder, burglary, decay, uh, death, uh, uh, death. Uh, or uh, uh, you, you can say in hard cases 324 attempt to murder but in non cognitive offenses you can set all these offenses as some some of them may be of assault or uh, trivial offenses they are uh, non cognitive offenses in cognitive offenses police can arrest under section 54 and can investigate under section 156 of criminal procedure code. What is the meaning of uh, investigation that has already been defined in previous lecture that means the collection of uh, evidence. They can collect in both non cognitive and cognitive cases they can collect evidence and further after all they have to provide all the result of investigation under section 173 to the Ilaka magistrate and further even proceed as according to the trial, the chapter from which we can uh, visualize the trial procedure, uh, trial before magistrate and trial before session court. So I think that mm, you must be clear in mind what are the non cognitive and what are the cognitive offenses from where we can search. They can be searched from the schedule provided by the criminal procedure court. One of them in one police can arrest with a uh, warrant in one police can enter into investigation in second in non cognitive police cannot arrest without warrant cannot investigate cannot register the fir under section 154 all requirement are necessary mandatory without permission of the magistrate police officer cannot do any of the function as mentioned above so i think that is sufficient and you can visualize and you can uh, analyze the are these all authorities which are uh, provided in this lecture. Thank you very much.